let's go to Disney. Here we go. <laughs> you don't have to stop and put a stroller there. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you don't get to see anymore until the room tour. Okay, just kidding. You can see just a little bit of the room, but I will be doing a full room tour here of this Caribbean beach king size room. But we're gonna go ahead and do a rapid fire, set up the room really quick, and then hopefully go to Disney Springs for a bit. Um, it's 8.15, but you know what? We are two adults only, and so we can do whatever we want. We don't have bedtimes and bath time <laughs> to deal with, so we're buck wild. So, okay, time lapse, let's set this room up. <laughs> Drinks, body armor drinks. way too easy. Usually I'm like setting up two slumber pods and ordering, um, blowing up air mattresses and ordering um, pack and plays and bed rails and I'm like doing this whole thing and we're unpacked. The room is set up. Like this, the only thing is Dane's jacket. That was like, ten, like n not even 10 minutes and the room is set up and we're good to go. I, I like it. This, this is weird. <laughs> it would have taken at least 30 to get all of the other stuff done. Oh, we'd still be looking at the room right now. Yeah, well, with the kids, yeah, that's true. They'd still be running around and, oh my goodness. What in the world? This is strange. I guess, I guess we do have time to go. Where the hunt is back on. Oh, it's, it never was off. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Those are pretty. Is this pearls? Oh, I like pearls. Look at these little pearls. Oh, look at this little Mickey. Look at this little mini. That one's pretty. Bust.
Okay, so we're back at the resort. It is 11 o'clock, so we're ready for bed. We're hoping to get up and rope drop Epcot tomorrow. That is the plan, so fingers crossed. But um, with the renovation that I talked about, because we did get a renovated room, which is awesome, um, and I kind of filmed the whole room tour and talked about some of the differences of when we, or when I stayed here in February versus now and like what that looks like and everything. But I did want to mention something weird is that this door, I realized I could see a towel peeking out from the bottom. So I'm doing the same thing because that's a towel from the person next door. So there are two doors, but they have towels literally in between the two doors um, because when the rooms previously they had carpet so the flooring was higher and the door was like brushing the top of the carpet well now that they don't have tar carpet and they took the pad out and everything if you've ever had carpet and you've ever taken it out you know what I'm talking about like it's a lot thicker than putting down like laminate which is probably what this is it's not hardwood at all um, but some sort of engineered flooring so there's this big gap and they've either not put a sweep on it yet they're not going to put a sweep on it yet like a door sweep um, so like this is a door sweep and that one doesn't have it so random fact <laughs> a little weird I'm like uh, okay so I put an extra towel like there's one like I said in between but I put an extra one just like so we're not hearing people next door <laughs> I don't know. It, it's probably silly, but um, I'm just going to say goodnight. We will see you tomorrow. I'm going to put travel day and day one into the same vlog, so we will see you at Epcot in the morning. Good night. Good night. Bye. Well, good morning, you good guys. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome. It's wind. Welcome to Caribbean Beach. We're on our way over to the Skyliner Hub. We're going to go to Epcot for a festival of the holidays, so we're going to do all the festival things. Festival of holidays. <laughs> and it's already raining already like it's already sprinkling and drizzling on my face I'm like great so let's go have a rainy day at Epcot and it's only eight o'clock yeah <laughs> and the chance of rain is just gonna go like this all day so we're gonna make the best of it though It's a quite rainy day in Epcot. You can hear it on the umbrella. <laughs> and so we, I haven't, I brought my umbrella and we didn't have another one. So Dean, we bought one at the gift shop for him. I forgot to bring boot socks with my rain boots that I brought and the little like ankle socks that I usually wear with my sneakers just were not cutting it. So I bought a pair of Skywater socks and now I'm, my feet are much more comfortable in these boots. So. <laughs> Thankful for that. Um, it was just, it was a little chilly to me for sandals, so I brought rain boots. So here we are. I don't, I don't think I've ever packed that for a Disney trip, so that's a new one. Um, but we are braving the rain. We're just walking around enjoying the countries while there's like nobody in them this morning. We're not running off to rides or anything. We might get on one, I don't know, but we've did this back in, what was it? Oh my goodness, when? 2018, 2019, yeah. we came and we just walked around at all the parks just taking photos and doing timer selfie, like timer pictures and like just all this fun stuff by ourselves and we just had so much fun doing that. And so that's what we're doing today is we're just taking pictures. So it may be a little boring to some of you because you're like, but you're not riding rides, but we're just here to take pictures and eat and film and just have a good time together. And so, eat. And eat because honestly, that like that's half the fun of Disney, at least for me, is all the food. So, you know, your girl is gonna be eating something.
we are parents. We're in the toy section. <laughs> and we're like, oh, she would love that. This is so cool. That's adorable. They would, they need this. And, uh, we're not buying anything. We're just going on and on. But, we're you just know. window shopping. Yeah, that's parents for you, you know? You're constantly thinking about your kids. Well, it is breakfast time. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> and we decided 10 a.m. tacos, right? That's right. So I got the barboca beef tacos, and Ooh, Dean got that. the chicken. Comes with rice and beans, so we got it just like it comes. And then I couldn't resist the churros. I'm like, there's so many yummy snacks for the festival, but I can't resist the churros. Chocolate churro sauce, let's go. So we are covered. We're out of the rain. We get to look around it. Epcot. So here goes breakfast tacos because, you know, they sounded good. These tacos are steaming so much because we were the first person in line for tacos. And there's others that have come in for 10 a.m. tacos, but I mean, these are like fresh, fresh. I'm so ready for these tacos. It's already good. Hot sauce is good too. It is. Oh. It's got a little heat. It's it got a little heat. It's, it slowly hits. <laughs> wow, okay. I like it though. Mm. So good. I was hungry. I was too. What flavor did you go with today? Bayou Berry. Tropical Punch. I know I had a lid here somewhere. Okay, I was like, am I losing it? I have all this chocolate sauce right now. <laughs> Churro time. Oh, Churros Churros and chocolate sauce are a match made in heaven. They're like macaroni and cheese. Exactly, like, they just go together. So good. Get your heart out, Disneyland. These are better. Don't start a fight now. It's a spaceship earth ball and it's got caramel, salted caramel, 
sprinkles. I love sprinkles. Mm. And it tastes really good. Joffrey's hot cocoa is so good. Oh yeah. Quick frozen chocolate. Mm. Oh gosh, that's good too. Is it? That's really good. Wanna try it? That is good. Well, mm. oh, that's really good. We have got to keep walking. We're trying to, we're gonna do, our goal is to get the like day of um, ticket at Regal Eagle for the candlelight processional. So I'm hoping to get over there and right when they open, go in and get our tickets for that. Um, they have limited availability. It's like it's buy a day of, instead of doing the candlelight processional package or standing in the traditional line, we're gonna do that. I think it's like $41. So obviously we'll take you guys along. But I'm just telling you, that is the goal. So we're gonna like book it through the countries because it's like 1110. <laughs> and so we're gonna get some like pictures and things in the countries of the Christmas and then hit it um, over to America. Always has to say that, you guys. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you're full of it. We're keeping on going. <laughs> twist um the and this is part of the, the risk you run of trying for the day of package and especially on a weekend but they are completely sold out for all the shows today for the dinner package here at regal eagle and then they also may even cancel the show so i'm a little disappointed because that was like a big part of the reason we came down here was to do the uh, candlelight processional so needless to say we're a little disappointed that we may not get to see candlelight processional um, I don't know what to do at this point. I'm a little torn of like, do I turn on mouse dining alerts and try to get like a dinner package somewhere? Or do I just say forget it because, and like get in the standby line because it's raining. So I don't know. It'll be a game time decision. I'm thinking probably standby because I don't want to like pay for this whole dinner package and not get to see the show. <laughs> <laughs> that would be extra disappointing to spend all that money for disappointment. Um, at least right now, we're disappointed and we didn't spend any money. <laughs> they just told us, nope, you can't buy it. Uh, but typically, it is $41. So if you're looking to do that and you want to risk it, and you're like us, you're like on the fence about which you should do, you can definitely do the day of package here at Regal Eagle. $41, so not too bad, but... Boo rain, go away. Thank you, I'm glad we have a double umbrella. The a umbrella. Ah! Okay, I don't know that I've ever had a gingerbread cookie. Ooh. And I've heard these are mediocre, so let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody always rates the gingerbread cookie here so bad, and I'm like, that poor little gingerbread person. And my heart, it's not my gumdrop, my head. 
Okay, it's a little dry. So Gingerbread I get that. usually is dry. Is it dry? Yeah. I don't know. See, this is my first one. I don't know what's good and what's not, y'all. How's his arm? Or broken. Mm. I wouldn't buy it again. Mm -hmm. That's my last bite. Yeah, I'm good. It was cute. We got the picture. Yeah, I wouldn't get that one again either. Now I see why everybody says it's mediocre. <laughs> due to, well, you guessed it, weather. <laughs> so we're gonna go over and take the bus back to Caribbean Beach. We decided to go take a little midday rest ourselves. Um, usually we just do that mainly with the girls, but you know what? Mommy and daddy deserve rest too, so <laughs> we're gonna go do that and then come back and assess the situation with Candlelight Processional, eat at some more of the food booths, more <laughs> try some more maybe. cookies. Yeah, I mean, absolutely more <laughs> cookies. Um, so we're gonna try some more things and yeah, but right now I'm just trying to go take a break. And of course now the Skyliner is running again <laughs> after we took a bus back. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? I wish I would have still been filming. That duck literally laughed at us. <laughs> Savage yeah, little Disney sad. duck. Yeah, that little duck's been hanging out with Donald too long. Apparently. I'm ready to take my feet off. I am too. <laughs> what are we doing? We're going to the hot tub in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold. That's my crazy. Oh, the rain's cold. This way. <laughs> this way. Yep. Yep. That way. <laughs> That's so cold. It does. Doesn't. No, because the other one had a hot tub. Yeah. The other Barbados had a hot tub. Well, Jamaica don't have a hot tub at the do we go to, pool. Do we go to Aruba? Does Aruba have a, a pool? It has a pool, but I don't know. If it, I can't remember if it has a hot tub or not. I didn't go to that. We're pool. on a hunt for a hot tub. <laughs> All right. Well, what's Aruba? Is that the closest one? I mean, it's the pink buildings there. So ah, it's, psh, that's right there. Let's go. A little farther that way. We're going to try it out. It's relaxation time. We're going to the main pool because yeah. I don't we know. We know it has a Yes, hot tub. we know it has a hot tub. We are 100% on the hunt for a hot tub. And we're going to make it happen. Oh I've got all these people like we passed this lady. She was like, covered she's pushing her stroller she's covered in rain gear the stroller's covered in reindeer gear like she is decked out she's prepared very proud but she's looking at me like you are crazy like i'm walking around <laughs> in a basically a two-piece swimsuit and a towel i forgot i like i didn't well i didn't forget i just didn't pack sandals and i'm not wearing my tennis shoes because i don't want to get my feet my wet feet in the tennis <laughs> shoes so we're walking so, around barefooted like a bunch leave, of crazy people leave your judgment in the comments we ain't got no shoes on we ain't got no shoes don't open it up for that like you're crazy hey hey be nice in the comments we ain't got no shoes on where's the line for the slide is that on the other side it's on the other side I'm gonna hit that slide real quick. Slide time first, and then and then hot tub. Cool. Green means go. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> was acquired there was people in there so we didn't film because <laughs> that would have been awkward <laughs> <laughs> but it was very nice very needed now to go back and take a hot shower because it's raining and it's cold water <laughs> yeah so let's go do that <laughs> so we can go back out and get wet again <laughs> What a day, what a day, what a day. Definitely not what we envisioned for our day, but you know, here we are. And we're making lemons out of lemonade because honestly, the worst part like about the weather, like the weather isn't ruining our day. If we had a bad attitude, us, our reaction to me would be the, would be ruining it. So we're just gonna make the best of it. All right, and we're showered dry and back out in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> I changed clothes. Yeah, you changed your, your clothes. His were more wet than mine were. Um, mine aren't too bad, so I'm just 
I put back on the same thing I had on. Um, we packed personal item only for this trip, if you didn't see the pack with me. So it's um, it was slim pickings. So I have today's outfit is all I have and then tomorrow's outfit. So unless I wanted to change back into my travel day fit, this was it. So thankfully it's not too wet. Um, but yeah, we're gonna head over to the hub because we're super close. We're in the Jamaica section. Jamaica which is literally day. like, right there's the Skyliners. Right behind me is the hub, right over there. So we're gonna go over and hop on. <laughs> we're fighting with our umbrellas. Um, on the direct line to Epcot. I, we have our little um, book. I forget what they're called. What is it, like a little passport, like a passport. book? that they have at Epcot for this festival and on our way back we were like looking at some of the menus and like dog earing the pages <laughs> of what we wanted to go back and get so we've got a few to knock off the to-do list so let's go do that and see what the deal is with candlelight processional if that's gonna happen or not I'm kind of thinking it's probably not gonna happen but there's part of me that's still very hopeful <laughs> Obviously, and we're at the point right where it starts going really fast, and there was like a hard stop, I guess, for some reason. I'm, I don't know why, but it went, and it just starts bouncing and bouncing and bouncing. And Ashley hasn't moved since it started bouncing. She's like, nope, I ain't, I ain't moving. No, I enjoy the Skyliner, but riding it in weather like this is one of those things I swore I would never do, and here I am. I. I just, I have a love-hate relationship with it. As long as it's moving and I can look at the pretty view, I am good. But your girl is not a fan of heights. Not a fan of heights. So, yeah, that that's somewhat terrible. Thank you for your patience. It was That was somewhat. rowdy. Oof. Yeah, okay. Well, we're good now. We're, we're moving again. <laughs> I'm like, I do not want to get evacuated. No, devil not. Today. We're watching the Disney's Riviera Resort with continuing flights to Epcot. I don't, I don't want to make that video. Okay. Hold on to your hats. We are about yep. to enter the evacuated from the Skyliner. Oh my gosh. Nope. No. No. <laughs> Dear God, I never want to make that video and put it on my channel. No. We have the turkey from America. We are hiding in the corner under a little slightly less rain. So we got this to split and then we're gonna go try some more booths. We are totally about to do what we do best, which is take a picture of the food so that we can munch on the food and then tell you if it's dance or no dance. <laughs> I think this is stuffing. Stuffing. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. And a little bit of turkey. Just a little bit of turkey. Mm. Mm. And I got a little bit of onion. Crispy onion. Heck yeah. Oh, that's so good. Wow. I love Christmas food. <laughs> it's, it's the best. I love it. So good. So good. It's the mix. <laughs> it's a mix of all of the flavors just exploding in your mouth at once. I feel mm. like I'm ratatouille. <laughs> I feel like it's definitely a dance. A little bit all of it. Ooh. It's just like an explosion, right? It's so good. Mm. And the crispy onion, you're right about the crispy onion. I know, it just adds like just a little something, something. I like the crunch with everything that's so, like the mashed potatoes and the stuffing is not crunchy. Mm -hmm. It's soft. And so you add that crunch in there. It's like, ooh, that was nice. This is good. And we're gonna go get more food, right? <laughs> we are, yeah. <laughs> we were not defeated. Off to Italy. 
Okay, we went ham at the Italy <laughs> Pavilion. <laughs> it all looked and sounded so good. Um, okay, so this is like a, a chocolate cake. I forget the name of it, I'm sorry. This is a salmon, uh, smoked salmon pasta. This is a fried cheese, I believe, right? The Pomodoro sauce? Yeah, the Pomodoro yeah. sauce. And then, uh, what was that? Something with cinnamon and sugar. Yeah. It was a fried. Oh, we got two desserts? Oh, I'm so excited. I guess so, yeah. It, we just, it all sounded good, so we got everything. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I gotta get pictures. Freeze. Oh, crap. Let me just, just it, fix it. Put it back. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now we can try things. I'm jumping in with salmon with the bow ties. Salmon pasta. Salmon bow ties. Okay, so this is the Montanara. It's the fried house made pizza dough with Pomodoro sauce, Parmesan, and fresh basil. This is the. Farfelli, I think. I'm probably butchering that. I'm sorry to my Italian friends. Um, salmon, I'm not even going to try on that last word. But it is a um, basically a bow tie pasta with smoked salmon and cream sauce. These are dolce pizza, which is fried house made pizza dough with sugar and cinnamon. And then the chocolate cake is the torta frise. Probably butchered that too. My apologies. But flourless chocolate torta with chocolate sauce and vanilla cream. Mm -hmm. So there you go. If you like salmon and you like pasta and you like Alfredo sauce, <laughs> you will like this. Probably. I like this. This is a dance. Is it a dance? <laughs> All right. I like that that's our rating. Like, mm -hmm. everybody else does, like, one out of ten. But we're just like, does it make you happy or not? <laughs> like, <laughs> how, how does it make you feel? <laughs> that makes me happy. I like that. I think that's just going to be our new thing. Like, I'm screw ratings. I'm just like, Do, dance I'm, or no dance. Dance or no dance. I'm so bad with numbers. I, I don't, know. I'm so bad at it. I'm like, this is eight out of this ten. This is good. Isn't it? It is really good. All right, I'm jumping into this one. Okay. Yeah, I like this Let's go. Do I go big? Do I go big? Oh, don't put the whole thing in your mouth. Oh my god, no. I'm not married to an animal. <laughs> <laughs> Umbrella. Forget the fork. I'm just going in with the fingers. I couldn't tell if that was cheese or dough that I just ate. It's just dough. So it's just basically like a Italian bread with sauce and cheese. Ooh. This wind, you guys, it is crazy. All right, dance one? or no dance? What are you calling on it? Mm. I'm not feeling it. It's not making me dance. No. It, it's like it needs to be cooked longer or something. Yeah, there's something about it. It tastes like it should be sweet. It doesn't taste. It doesn't taste like it should be savory. Because it's, I guess, the same thing. But they just toss those in cinnamon sugar. Is my guess. I don't know this. Here we but go. That's my guess. Is it's the same thing. I think that that's dance. That's a dance? That's a dance. It looks the same, right? Mm -hmm. This is the savory with the pasta sauce. This is the sugar cinnamon. Like these little guys look the same. I'm just saying. Tomato, I potato. Was, I think that was their easy button. <laughs> I wish these were a little warmer. Yeah. Slight dance. <laughs> now, if you this? put some chocolate sauce with this, mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like bread, and I like this. It's decent. I wouldn't get it again. It's not like, man, I gotta come back to the festival of the holidays next year to eat that. Like, Correct. sometimes you just enjoy meals a lot. None of none of this is just like groundbreaking, but it's good. Except for this. This is really good. Yeah, that pasta is the best thing that we've eaten so far. Go try this mm -hmm. flourless cake. It's okay. You just get an okay on a chocolate cake. I know, right? In the world. Let me try this. Italy. What are you doing? I think it's just because it's cold. It's very dense. Eh. eh. It's a no dance on. I'm Most just going to say no dance on that. With the exception of the pasta. The salmon pasta. 
Super dance. I, I would dance for that. Absolutely. <laughs> and I'm not an Alfredo person. Mm-mm. Okay, say. It's all decent. On to the next thing. Which I think they are. Looks like they're still having the candlelight processional. They actually canceled Jolly Wind Nights tonight. Um, so that's like, eh, that didn't happen. So I was curious to see once we got back here if that would happen or not. But they are having it. So we're going to go and try standby. So wish us luck. So we got in line for candlelight processional at five. They had already started letting people in. So we were able to get a seat here in the back. So they let everyone in for candlelight processional for standby over towards the Italy side. And they have the back section roped off for those people. Oh my gosh, it's starting to rain again. Oh <laughs> and we can't. We're not supposed to use our umbrellas in here. Got you. So the front section is for um, dinner package guests and then the back section basically is for standby guests. Um, so we just kept walking towards the France side, like just kept walking. And then there was all this seating that was open. So we were able to get a little bit closer row where if you see over through there, thicker and more congested so all that to say keep walking keep swimming upstream as far as you can and then you can find some open stuff so just wanted to share that tip um but yeah this is i'm excited we've never watched the candlelight processional but this is just i mean obviously it's raining so this that tip may not work when it's not raining i don't know or if it's a more popular uh, narrow narrator that'll look a little different but we are we're out here and we're doing it. So, <laughs> we're you know. here for Christmas. We're doing Christmas. We're doing Christmas. We're doing a very rainy, wet Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Ride a ride. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so we stopped at the China Pavilion, or the, the spot in the China Pavilion. We got the chicken skewer and the veggie spring rolls. So we're going to give those a shot. We came over to the Lotus Blossom to hide out from the rain and eat our food because it is oh, coming down, you guys. Chicken. And you're the chicken man, like you love, I love chicken, food. like way too much. Yes. The chicken itself tastes good. If you like nutty flavor, the nutty, there's a little bit of nutty flavor. Oh, the, it's the peanut sauce, I think. There's a peanut sauce, okay, there's a peanut sauce. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, it's a peanut sauce. So if it is, then that's the part that's kind of like, not my favorite sauce, but it's good. I wish they were crispier. You could tell maybe they've sat there for a bit. So they're a bit soggy and it's also <laughs> the humidity and the rain, I'm sure, hasn't played a part in that. But the flavor was good. We're soaking wet, we're off to Zan. So we got in line and we were using our virtual queue that we had from this morning um, for Guardians of the Galaxy. And they were like, oh, your ride's been delayed. And the lightning lane, too, was out the door. 
So I'm like, no. There, as soon as this ride in line starts moving again, they're gonna push all the lightning lanes through because uh, rightfully so, those people paid to ride the ride. And so they're gonna push them through and we're gonna be standing here for an hour. So we're like, uh, no, just let's, no. It's an amazing ride, but I'm not, I don't wanna stand there for an hour. There's so many other things we can do. So, so many snacks that could be had. I, exactly. So, snacks we shall have. Watching the big guy do his thing. Dean got the apple crumb cake. We got the red velvet cake and the peppermint pinwheel cookie. So we're gonna give these a shot. And then on to more treats. We're just like sampling all the things. I promise we're not eating everything. We're just, we're sampling. <laughs> another cookie. <laughs> All right, let me grab a picture and then you can dive in. <laughs> All right, M&M cookie lover. Had to get the M&M cookie. Good? Meh? <laughs> That's kind of sad. That's really sad. They're just, they're just a sad little cookie. They're just a sad little cookie. <laughs> it's really bad when you're crumbling it up. <laughs> it's not that good. <laughs> Stay well, away from this cookie. Maybe uh, Canada will be better. It's on the same level as the uh, gingerbread. Ah, uh, ooh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Definitely not dancing for that. No. no. Stay away from it. Don't get it. It's nasty. It's bad. Not a good cookie. Not a good cookie. We made it to Canada. It is still raining, you guys. It's been raining all day. They have a snickerdoodle cookie with actual Snickers. So Dean's very excited about that. I am. We got the salmon dish that they have there as well as the beef dish. So let's go. first, All right. Do the whole get a little bit of everything. Like pot roast. I do. With this rainy weather, it just feels like such a cozy meal. <laughs> and it's like holidays and everything. It's just party and cozy and it just yeah. I just need a fireplace and a warm blanket. Oh yeah. And this will be good. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna try salmon? Let's go. Do the salmon. Salad is shaped like a Christmas tree. Oh, that's cute. Sweet potato. Salad. Yes, we're going. We're going all in. 
Okay. How about the salmon? Good. I'm not a big like, sweet potato fan. But the salmon is quite nice. The sweet potatoes and the salmon are really good yeah, together. Yeah, the sweet potatoes and the salmon are really good. Like, really good. Yeah. The salad, man, whatever this stuff is, I don't care of, but yeah. the sweet potato and salmon. It's a good. nice mix. Mm. It's real good. Got high hopes for you, baby. <laughs> I know. I hate giving recommendations because it's always like, if it doesn't live up to something. Favorite. Yeah. Tastes good. Yeah. I like that better actually. You, really? Mm -hmm. I, again, you're not the biggest salmon guy. I'm trying. I'm <laughs> trying <them> <laughs> I like it. I like both of them. I would get that if I were gonna get a, like get something to just eat myself. I would get that. I would get that this time. Interesting. I think this is lighter and I like the flavor. That has a, a seasoning in it. I, I'm not sure what it is and I don't, I'm not familiar with it. So I don't like it for pot roast. In my head, I'm like, this should be the pot roast I might get home. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's a little different. All right, well, we're gonna this enjoy good. this and then we'll see about this cookie. Mm -hmm. We are settled in, we are dry, we are we are warm, and Dean is going to try his cookie. The last, the taste last test cookie. of the night. Yes. It looks beautiful. It does look beautiful. Oh. You're getting it in the bed too. <laughs> oh. Is it good though? Oh, pretty good. Again, none of these are amazing. Yeah. Like, there's nothing groundbreaking about this. Yeah, it's just a cookie. It's just a cookie. It's not like, man, that's a great cookie. Yeah, it's one of those you don't feel like, oh my gosh, this is just like significantly better than like cookies we make at home or something. Yeah, it's like, not. It's not like the pink donut, which you get the pink donut and you're like, mm, that's my pink donut. It's I don't know, there's like, something about it. I mean, or like a Gideon's cookie. I know there's yeah, like different true. opinions on that. Gideon's cookies to me are amazing. Yes, I love them. Absolutely Gideon's. amazing. They're just like, I can't make them taste that way at home. Mm -mm. I don't know what kind of magic they put in them, but it's not something that I have. So needless to say, is I think they're amazing and I think they're delicious. But most of the ones today, it's just kind of been like, oh, that's a cookie. Like, I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying eating a cookie, yeah. but it's not like, oh my gosh, I've got to come back next year so I can eat this cookie. Like sometimes you have those meals and it's like, oh, this is so good. And you just like dream about the food. Pink donuts. I don't know. It's just... Yeah, I, I dream about certain foods, but that is just not one of them. That's the cookies just haven't been that. Uh -oh. But my favorite thing today was just walking around, spending time together, and taking pictures. That was it was a lot of fun. I loved I love getting to like look for different things instead of just like running by everything, just strolling through the countries, finding neat things to take pictures mm -hmm. of, and I. I just thought that was so fun. So I always love that. It just really slows you down because there's so many little details and so many things that you miss running by, just running from attraction to attraction or even from booth to booth. You just breeze right through, right past it. So, you know, mm -hmm. that was my favorite part. I think going, <laughs> this is silly, but going to the hot tub so far away in the rain was really fun. I thought that was fun. <laughs> that was It was fun. like a little adventure. So. It was. I enjoyed that a lot. Yeah. I wish they had a hot tub in the Jamaica For real. pool section. Um, that would just be awesome. Like, I think I would be sitting out there in it right now. Yup. Like, just soaking and relaxing. But, alright, that's going to do it for